to the track in the background is one of my pseudonyms. This is the Universal Life Orchestra and the track is called When We Love. This is a fantastic example of having very minimal elements in your composition, allowing them to loop and using automation to create variety in the composition. Just gonna take you behind the scenes and show you what I did to make this happen. And what it is, is the majority of the track is basically coming from machine. I'm gonna scroll down, you can see that there are just a few other tracks here, and it's a very simple composition. All of this automation here is bringing it alive. Okay, so into machine, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it from the beginning. Just gonna zoom in, take a look at the automation here, and you can see that we have various parameters mapped to that automation. So notice the triangle moving. We can hear something different. It's a flanger mix control. That's that spacey texture. And to make this a more inspired performance, I use the rotary controls on the machine, on the fly. So I had that kind of DJ flavor. And did you hear there, the beats got thinned out because there was a high pass filter. Let's take a look at machine. I'm gonna bring this over so we can see stuff basically happening at the same time. Take a look at the frequency over here of the high pass filter. This is on all of the beats. The beats are getting thinner now. Also, take a look at the mix control on the flanger. So we're really introducing that futuristic, spacey texture. All the while, the filter on the musical loop is opening up. For some reason, we don't get the parameter moving here, but don't worry about that. It is actually moving. You can see that map down here. So low pass filter is opening up. The music is getting brighter. I'm just gonna show you something about this. Take a look at the sampler. It's using the SP1200 model. So it's got a nice kind of gritty, lo-fi kind of texture. Now let's zoom out a bit and take a look at the elements coming in here. Got some effects. Some real DJ style cuts there. And what I wanted to do here was I wanted to break free of that very kind of conventional repetitive eight bar kind of vibe and just really just perform the track. So I literally ran from beginning to end with a couple of rotary controls and just performed all of these variations into it. You'll notice that I've got a few things going on here. The EQ, two EQs in a row. One of these has been used to basically work with the, the sides and roll off some bass on the low frequencies. The multiband dynamics is there because of the fact that the tone is changing so much throughout the duration. I needed to control it with the three bands. Now I'll tell you what, let's come back onto that. All right, take a listen. Um, to the musical loop. Right. So, let me show you what I was doing with this. And it's unfortunate that we can't see it very well here. But I've got the LFO sync, and I'm basically adding the LFO to filter to create that nice rhythmic pulsing on there. And now, just for extra drama, I've brought in a sub bass. This is a custom patch on the operator. I'll show you. And this track is really like a DJ tool in a way. It's designed as one of those tunes that's kind of disorientating, you know, if you're in a club and um, you've, you've had a few drinks or whatever you're having. But you can see and you can hear how the whole track is flowing and varying because of all of the automation being applied.
strings being automated coming up. Korg M1 High String, the real classic. Vocal effect for some drama. the whole track now has been thinned out no beats you can hear just a glimmer of them now loads of delay yeah I wanted this track to kind of envelope people to kind of swamp around them and just kind of swallow them up you know in a club so it's got this chaotic, um, almost kind of um, spontaneous, random manipulation going on. You know, the emphasis really on this is like a continuous performance really just getting on hold, basically grabbing those knob controls and twisting them and getting them kind of vibing like this. So, you know, there are no structural arrangements here you can't see any blocks that have been deliberately chopped into and arranged it's literally the same thing over the complete tune and manipulated with the automation and then a few supplemental elements as you can see here so it's an approach that I'd suggest you give a go get some simple elements get them looping map your favorite effects on top get a hardware controller and just have a few glasses of wine and just jam with it for a bit. See what comes up. <laughs> 